Hello, welcome to another edition of Conspirator Brooks Polis. This is my post for the week of June 17th, 2020. A uh, fair amount of books this week, so let's get right into it. First up, we have Batman and the Outsiders, number 13. Uh, Brian Hill's done a decent job on this uh, Batman and the Outsiders run. I've been enjoying it, so I'm like curious to see where it goes. It is a long story, so it's kind of not contained in just uh, one trade paperback. Uh, so, yeah, but that's a good thing sometimes, so... Uh, next up is the big book this week, and that is a Dark Knight's Death Metal number one from DC. Yes, Scott Snyder's Death Metal, or Metal is back, basically. Uh, so check out this and get your copy of Death Metal. That's the shiny cover. That's the main cover. Uh, next up is the facsimile edition of Detective Comics number 475, uh, where Joker uses his pew pew little smiley face uh, fish to take down Batman. I don't know. It's... It's a it, it's a good it's a decent story. I'm like I'm curious to read it. So next up we have the Flash Annual number three, which apparently versus the Suicide Squad. Which if you if you read issue five of the Suicide Squad, then you would know that you would need to be reading this issue next. Uh, so <laughs> uh, yeah, Flash and Suicide Squad. Curious to see what goes on in that. Next up, we have Gideon Falls, number 22. Uh, Jeff Lemire's just done a fantastic job, and, and Andrea Sorrentino's artwork is fantastic and amazing. Uh, if you haven't been reading Gideon Falls, you need to. It's great, great stuff. Next up, we have Hawkman, number 24. Vendetti's knocked it out of the park with Hawkman. Uh, just really solid, solid book. Uh, the art's fantastic. The uh, Vendetti's just, he knows what he's doing with Hawkman, and I can't wait to see what he has in store. Next up, we have issue 7 of 12 for Metal Men. Uh, this is Dan Didio's little pet project thing that he was working on, even though he's not there anymore. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we'll see where it goes, but he's got a lot of mechanical animals with him. Next up is another one by Jeff Lemire, and that is The Question, The Deaths of Vic Sage, number 3 from DC Black Label. Uh, this is one of those oversized magazine editions. Uh, so be wary of that. Um, but I haven't read it yet. I need to. It's in a stack of the rest of these oversized. I just when I go to read them, I'm like <laughs> they're so, so big. Uh, so yeah, but I'm looking forward to it. I hear it's really good. Next up is the book that I'm super excited for. Besides Death Metal, I'm excited for that. But this one I'm super excited for. It's been so long, and that's a Strange Adventures and Number Two uh, by Tom King with art by Mitch Gerardus and Doc Shaner. Uh, can't wait to dive into issue two. Issue one was fantastic, uh, so I can't wait to see where we go with uh, Adam Strange and uh, Mr. Terrific. <sighs> Next up, we have Superman number 22. Uh, ben has just has done a decent job on Superman. Make, you know, this is the one where he's kind of doing those big action-y things. Um, even though you'd think that would be an action that he would want to put that. But Ben has done a good job on Superman. Uh, so I can't wait to see what it has in store. Next up is Wonder Woman number 757. Uh, Wonder Woman's going up against, I can't remember her name, but yeah, it's one of those, one of those uh, Nazi ladies. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, who's doing it? Steve Orlando, decent job. Uh, next up, Wonder Woman Dead Earth, another black label book. This is book three. I've liked Dead Earth. It's interesting. The art works perfectly for the content, so... Can't wait to dive in. That one I've actually caught up with, uh, so I'll have to read that one, and I think that's it. And finally on my poll list, we have Young Justice number 15, and we have Superboy's Truth Revealed, so we'll see what that entails. Ben, this has done a decent job with Young Justice, so we'll see. Uh, I did pick up one book for uh, reading to check out because I saw some um, people tweeting about it before it came out. And that's uh, James Tiernan the Fourth's uh, Wind from Boom Studios. So I'm gonna give it a try, read it, see if I like it. If I like it, I'll probably keep it. But well, I'll pay for it. But yeah. Uh, so yeah. So that's it for my pull list of single issues this week. I did pick up some variant covers. Uh, the first one is for Batman and the Outsiders number 13. It's not the best cover, uh, but because I'm a Batman and Outsiders sucker, I got to get all the covers. So. Uh, there's plenty of covers for Dark Knight. Uh, Dark Knight's Death Metal number one. Um, we got one here for you there nice little standard variant cover and then we have another one there with superboy and then we have with wonder woman art germ wonder woman going all uh, aggro uh they did have a blank uh 
a blank cover, which isn't really blank, it's black, but you know, hey, whatever. And then there was the Capullo uh, black and white variant as well. So I snagged that one up. Uh, of course, Strange Adventures 2 had an awesome variant just there. Uh, Superman 22, I thought that was a decent shot of Superman saving a little girl from fire. Um, Oliver Kopil uh, did the Wonder Woman 757 variant, so I snagged that one up as well. So, yeah, so that's it for my regular pull list. Um, I did pick up a DC Kids graphic novel called Primer. Uh, it's an original graphic novel for, for kids from DC, so I'm going to check this one out, hopefully. I have a whole bunch to go through, but um, my niece is into it, so I picked her up a copy as well. And um, my daughter will probably read this copy. And a oh, uh, neighborhood friend uh, that where we used to live uh, likes the comics, so I got her one as well. So, yeah, kids like reading. And then I got a nice hardcover of all those one shots that Star Wars was putting out. And this is the Star Wars Age of Rebellion. Uh, this is the hardcover collection of all of those. Uh, I like that it's, they've been coming out in these hardcovers because I have a nice collection of some of the hard uh, Star Wars stuff. I have the Age of uh, Republic out uh, as well. And we'll see if there's any more. That's it for this week's poll list. I uh, kind of kept it a little quick tonight. I'm feeling a little tired, as you can tell. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want, leave your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, all that fun stuff. Keep it nice. Keep it all that stuff because, you know, the internet's a nasty place to begin with, and we don't want any of that here. Uh, you can listen to me on the Comics Conspiracy Podcast. We just finished recording episode 456. Uh, tonight, or we talk, this week, we talked about the passing of Denny O'Neill. And uh, which is a very, very sad uh, thing that happened this week. Um, he was basically a uh, one of the uh, major, major players in the in the late 70s or in the you know 70s and 80s. Uh, his stuff with Neil Adams with Batman, especially stuff with Green Lantern and Green Arrow, uh, just resonates till even till today. Uh, so we've lost a, a really, really uh, a good one, so to speak, uh, in in losing Denny. So we talked about that, uh, this week. Uh, what else did we talk about? And we, and we don't redo, we didn't even, didn't even answer some listener questions. We were so, we had so much going on, uh, with talk, Denny talking all that and Brian didn't post any questions. So, uh, but yeah, you can help me and my fellow conspirators out through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash comics conspiracy. For as little as a dollar a month, you help us, uh, you basically get to support us in what we do with our podcast and me with the this polis video channel thing that I do. Uh, so thank you all for that. Uh, you can help me out a little more directly by clicking on any of the Amazon links here or at uh, conspiratorbrock.com. And if you buy something through that link, then I get a little bit on Amazon and thank you for that. Or you can head over to my eBay page and pick up something I'm purging out of my collection that you might want. Uh, so links in the description below for most of that stuff. And yeah, that's it. Follow me on Twitter. My handle's at Brock Sager and um, keeping it short. So I'll see you next week.